Good morning, friends. Well, today is my baby's birthday. She is one year old today. She is gets so excited when Mama comes out. So the white one, I know. Yeah, her name is Cheyenne. That's her given name. But her Indian name, you know, us Indians, we do things a little different. So her Indian name is Will. Because she was tiny when I got her. She was four weeks old and she fit in my lap. And now she can stand up and look me in the face. Can't you, middle? Can't you, middle? Come up here and stand up and look me in the face. Yeah, that's my girl. She's so big. I can't go out there because she gets so excited. Yeah, she's, she's telling me, Mama, I want you to pet me through the fence. Yeah, I want you to pet me through the fence, Mama. I love you, Mama, what she says. Here. Whoops, now come on. Yeah, that's my girl. That's my girl. And Miss Jenny, that's my other one over there. She's a chocolate lab. She freezes to death, and it's kind of hard to get her to do anything because anything over here worth me. <laughs> Where did she go? Well, she's over there in the corner hiding because Little will uh, go up to her and start nabbing on her on her coat, and she likes her coat because she freezes to death. What? 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 Are you excited? So she's going to get to have a can of tuna fish in her food today because that's going to be her birthday present. And I can't do anything better for her than give her food. Her loves her food. Yes, her does. Yeah. I wish I could let her out, but she goes away too fast and you can't get her. Well, I've already given them their scratch out there, and they've already gone out there, done that, and come in the house. <clears throat> I gave some of the, the kids in the house some, some scratch, too, and went ahead and knocked the ice off. Well, knocked it in pieces already. Looks like they've already had a little bit of that. Ready to move on for today, huh? Yeah, some are at the watering hole, and some are at the food bin, and, well, we still got a lot of water this morning. I don't know what the deal is. They haven't, didn't fight last night. They must have been tired from yesterday or something, because, look at here, this one's still about three-quarters of the way full, too. And there's Precious Little Hawk. And uh, I gave them two pumpkins yesterday, and last night, maybe that's why they're not hungry. Last night, <clears throat> I put the rest of them in here, and... Uh, I had given them just a ton load of um, apples and cucumbers and kefir and I don't know what else I put in there. And boy, I tell you what, they just went crazy with it. What are we doing, Josephine? What are you doing? You being mean. They ate the bottom out of this one already. <laughs> Looks like they've got an egg in that one over there, and there's a hen in the middle. That's Crip in the middle. Um, they ate that one almost totally. Turn it over for them so they can eat the rest of the ick. Eat the rest of the inside of it. <clears throat> there, that's better. They like them like that. Sunny side up pumpkin, right? <laughs> and then they've got, let's see, that's, there's one, two, three, and then there's one over here. It's the other half of that other one. They've already turned it upside down. They got goo in it. Or, well, they didn't turn it upside down. They, got, they scratch. They scratch at night, and they they scratch uh, all this bedding off into it. And uh, looks like I have already an egg here, and an egg here, and a chicken. She is... She's protecting this nest. She doesn't want anybody up here except for who she wants up here. Move out. Come on, move out. Got an egg up there. And uh, let's see. I got a chicken here, nothing there, and a chicken there. So I wonder, it looks like a fairly good chicken or egg, egg day today. What do you need? Do you need me to move back so you can get up there? Okay, I'll get back up. Oh, so you're going to. Make sure she don't get in it. You're you were up there yesterday. 
You don't lay eggs every day. What are you doing up there? I already gave Hazel and Jesus their corn. Look at how pretty her nest is. Look how many eggs is in there. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now there's 12 that I can see. Uh, 13. Might be one under there. <coughs> Boy. They, 14. <coughs> Goodness, they've got this thing. This thing dusty today. Woo! Looks like 14. Wow. I hope we don't have that many baby ducks. <laughs> what am I going to do with them? I don't know. We'll see. I'm sure having a good day. Hey, I want to I want to talk to you guys about about one of my viewers yesterday, but it just warmed my heart. Um, he said that his um, recommendations recommended my page yesterday. And he saw the word grandma on it. And so he, um, he clicked on it and saw breakfast cooking. And he says, Grandma, can I come over and have breakfast? And I just, oh, that just warmed my heart so much. I remember being a little girl. And my grandparents lived in Atoka, Oklahoma, and my grandma was still alive until I was two. And, oh, my grandparents, they only had, let me see, I think they had three kids, and one of them died. And I think they, let me see, yeah, no, they had two kids, and one of them died. So my dad was an only child, and they wanted kids so bad but never could have them. And so they always <clears throat> came and spoiled us. And, uh, of course, we loved that. And uh, we, um, boy, these girls are not wanting to get along. He's trying to break it up. So my granddad, or grandma died when I was two. And then my granddad, I had him, and he was the only grandparent I had because my mom's mom and dad had already died. And I cherished my granddad so much, but he died in 1977 or 78, and I was in my early 20s. And I wondered why it was that the people that you love the most have to leave you the, the quickest, the soonest. Because I sure did love him. And I, I guess I had a love of old people from that point forward, which did me a lot of good because you can learn a lot from an old person and you don't even realize it. And you'll pull from it for years. And um, so anyway, what I wanted to say was, was I really, really appreciate... Um, the one who, the viewer who, who said that to me yesterday, it brought back such wonderful memories. And, you know, if you want me to be your grandma, <laughs> I can watch me every day. I'll be your grandma. That'll be just fine. I have four grandkids and I love every one of them. I've got three boys and one girl and, and they're all just like they're just mine, you know. Um, <clears throat> not their parents, but mine. And, uh. I, I cherish the time that I'm around them and cherish the time that I'm with them and wish that they'd get off their phones a little bit more. But, you know, what do you, what do, you do? You can't do anything. Well, looky here. We got everybody in the door. There must be some kind of predator out. I heard some birds out there screaming. I heard the crows out there screaming. And I really think that they have a, uh, the, the hawks, the chicken hawks have a nest out here somewhere. Or maybe it's the crows that have a nest and the chicken hawks are trying to come out and uh, and eat the eggs out of the, the crow's nest, nest. Because I went into my garage this morning and I had my door open. I, I went out there to uh, do some stuff and opened the door because it was really cold in there. And I thought, well, it's not that cold outside. <clears throat> so I went back out there in just a few minutes and there was a bird in my in my garage looked like it was looking for a good place to make a nest so I I uh, went ahead and shut the door back so I know that that it's nesting time and it's going to be not too much longer and my girls are going to want to start nesting so <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and let let them nest whenever they decide that they don't want to get out of the nest at night and uh, put some eggs underneath them and and hatch out some some more chickens that's really the only way that you can keep your, your flock going is to have new chickens sometime in the spring because it takes them five months to start laying eggs. And that way, in the fall, when most of the chickens that you've had for a year start 
molting, they stop laying. So that way you can have new chickens laying new eggs and the older chickens can take their break and relax. And then whenever they get their feathers back and, and uh, rest up enough as, the, as much as they need to, then you'll have them um, laying when the other ones molt. So <clears throat> that's usually the way that it works. And, and it works out really well, well for me. So anyway... Well, this is Saturday, and I'm going to go in, and I'm going to relax and uh, edit this video, and I don't think I'm going to do much more today. So, you guys have a wonderful day, um, have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you tomorrow. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you.